Hello everybody, my name is Spicy and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out this Prism event. Now this Prism event is pretty insane as it brings three, uh, arguably four of the best champions in the game and um, you get a 6% chance. That being uh, Freya, Glacid, I don't really know how to say his name all that well, uh, Harima, and Pythion. Staltus is amazing as well. Um, every legendary here is really good. It's just those are the four that stand out as the best. Um, Freya being the headline champion. Now, I usually wouldn't spend money on these, uh, but my account doesn't have any of these champions, and those are absolute... Well, I do have Pythion. Uh, but these three are absolutely game-changing champions and ones that I really, really want to get. Um, now, Freya, she is really solid for basically anything in the game. Um, her A1, AoE, 40% chance to provoke. Um, counter attacks so when a shield placed by this champion is removed by damage, occurs once per turn. Um, places a 60% Increased defense buff on all allies for two turns on a three turn cooldown. Also places a shield buff on all allies for two turns. You can up this by 20% with books. The value of the shield is proportional to this champion's defense and each of the target's max HP. And then we have her A3 Gold Weave on a three turn cooldown. And this is one of my favorite abilities of hers. And just in general in the game, I love these types of abilities. It removes all debuffs from all allies then places block debuffs and then also um turn turn meter fill by 20 percent on all allies is amazing then her passive uh, increases this champion's defense by five percent each time an ally inflicts a crit hit stacks up to 50 percent extra defense which is pretty insane and then her active prevents the death of an ally with the highest crit damage except this champion and keeps them alive with one hp when hit with a fatal hit now the worst part of this skill right here is the fact that it can just be negated by double hits and i think that should be changed but that's just my opinion uh, but then heals that ally by 20% of their max HP and activates an instant turn effect. And that's the best part is the instant turn. Uh, you could potentially build a very, very slow nuker and just have them go instantly uh, it, when they get low. I think this would be best on somebody... I could be wrong, I don't know how it works, but like a Leorius could do really well with this. I'm not... Again, I'm not sure if that's how it works, if an unkillable proc could still use this or not. Not sure. Uh, but... Then her, well, and then her aura is a 30% defense in all battles, has 110 base speed, which is pretty amazing. She's just fantastic. Now, I'm not going to go all the way into these other champions' kits, but everybody knows Harima. She's Harima. Absolutely god tier, my number one most wanted champion the entire game right now. Uh, purely because I just want to have fun with her. Not because she's the number one best in the game, but she's fantastic. And then Glaciad. Um, he looks really, really good. Um, almost like a, almost like a Duchess style champion, but possibly even better than Duchess, at least for late game. Um, because of this passive right here is pretty insane, and I would absolutely love to get him. Um, I know when he originally came out, people were saying he was kind of like a lesser Duchess. I honestly feel like he might be better, uh, but that's just my opinion. And yeah, so let's go ahead, get these opened. I might get a couple more, not sure. I could even go do the Sand Devil event to go and get uh, to go and get a couple more. But hopefully we don't have to. Hopefully we can hopefully we can get the champion that we want uh, before then. Or at least one of them. A Dithy, actually, I don't mind Dithy dupes. That is that is a pretty decent one to be getting dupes of. Alright, come on, game. Please. Let us get at least one legendary. Just one. I wouldn't be upset if we didn't get multiple. Mordecai I actually do need, so I'm not against a Mordecai. And a Neldor. Okay. We're gonna get a few more and then that'll be it. I won't be I won't be spending a whole crap ton of money extra onto this. Uh but yeah, we're gonna get maybe three or four more pulls and that'll be it all right we got three more bees game let us just get one legendary let it be harima we can call it there 
Furgon, wish I needed her for the Kage Fusion. Okay, we've gotten a bunch of Aoxes. All right, final one. All right, no legendary, man. Uh, that sucks, but it's not... It's not expected that you'll get a legendary. It just really sucks when it doesn't happen. However, the uh, epic dupes that you do get from this aren't that bad. Um, I do have one of her. Um, I do have a Dithy that needs Empowered. I don't even have a plus one yet, so that's nice. Um, and then the Teoxes, I'm not too worried about. Um, Neldor, I'll take him up happy with that so guys that is that's this event sadly you don't really get you don't really get much of anything unless you hit the legendaries now if i did need um any of these for the um, makage fusion that would have been even better now mordecai will help me in a certain stage and i'm stuck in and um in the cursed city but yeah, guys, I mean, it is what it is. We move on from this. Um, Harima, she will she will always be the champion that eludes me and will never show up on my account for some reason. No matter how many shard events I pull on for her or anything, I just can't seem to get Harima. But it is what it is, guys. I appreciate y'all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, consider joining my Discord. You can find that link in the description down below. There you can find an amazing, amazing community of people who are more than happy to help you with your um, different questions with Raid. But outside of that, guys, I really appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.